to eat your brains. That special holiday Easter. It's all about eating Easter eggs, isn't it? And that's pretty much it. That's all you do on this day, isn't it? Or something like that. But now there's a new tradition to add to Easter. Yes, Easter now has cheesy B-movie horror films. It is Night of the Lepers here on the Geek Legion of Doom. And we are reviewing Beaster Bunny, which was originally known as Beaster Day, the here comes Peter Cottonhell, and this one directed by the Snook Brothers. So, now, if you may get the impression with this film, and you'd be correct in assuming that, it does take itself somewhat tongue-in-cheek. So, let's talk about Beast of Day and what, it, it, what it's all about then. So, it is a giant, rat-looking, sort of undead giant bunny that is terrorising the countryside in a small American town. It's up to a actress who is, can't get any money. She's having to get a job as a dog catcher who teams up with this kind of, like, douchebag guy there, basically, who is kind of ADHD and hyperactive. And between the two of them, they have to save the town from this giant killer rabbit. It's down the rabbit hole for these guys against their crappy mare as well, who just seems to be more or less taking it easy a la Jaws. Now, this film clearly isn't going to be for everyone. The budget on this film was actually a lot higher than I expected, but it looks really low budget to me. I mean, it's this this movie, let me put it like this, will make asylum pictures look like they're high budget productions. It is such a kind of cheesy, knowingly kind of like winking at the audience, bad movie, that it will certainly find its audience there. Basically, if you were to take Bugs Bunny, pump him full of steroids and throw him into a blender and then spill it out, that is the mess that is kind of the equivalent of this movie here. It is such a kind of um, a shoddily uh, produced film on all kind of aspects, but it's kind of on its own merits. That's what it's trying to do. Uh, yes, you can't help but laugh at some of the cheesy campiness here. If you're a fan of things like, um, you know, Plan 9 for an, from Outer Space, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, then this will really fit into that kind of uh, that kind of style of movie. If you want a serious film with an actual plot, character development, special effects and things like that, then this may not be the film for you. Um, I will say, I mean, it, it is kind of a fun film to look at. If you like really one of those, it's so bad, it's good films, then you may want to check all this one out. The effects themselves are, are so funny because the actual rabbit it just looks like, you know, well, basically, that's something like a dead, a dead rat. Put it on a stick, and it's kind of like moving it in front of the camera. That's literally what it looks like. There's actually a couple of shots where they've used green screen to kind of do, um, you know, beheadings and kind of like things like that. That don't look too bad, but uh, for the rest of it, really, there's no kind of depth there. What it does have, though, is boobs. There is so many boobs and butts in this film. If you're a fan of the busty babes, the busty uh, screen queens running around on screen, ready to get in chowed down by a killer bunny, then this definitely may be the film for you. Certainly not going to be for 99% of people, but there, it will have its fans. Um, but realistically, I've got to say, if you were just to see this in the, film, in the, in the kind of supermarket, think, oh, I quite fancy this. Let me, let me put it bluntly. You're probably going to be scratching your head and thinking, I want my two ninety nine back from As The Please. But nonetheless, knowingly going into this, if you know you're, you're after a kind of a crappy, schlocky, mega cheesy film, then this may be the one for you. So overall, I'm going to give this movie a 2.5 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? So leave me comments, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now. Mm-hmm.